Hello, Gabe Heller here. Uh, I'm trying something new. We're trying to decide what mod pack to use for our uh, next series. Uh, and this is uh, the main contender among mod packs that other people have made. Now, we have a friend named Ben who uh, has said he might be interested in making us a custom one and he could make it downloadable for all of you. So uh, that's an option. Um, but this is also an option. Problem is this one is only okay for private servers, and we've only recorded on public servers, so we'd have to either start our own server, uh, which might be kind of boring if there's nobody else on there to build cool stuff for us to look at, or we have to find a private server that's willing to let us join. Uh, so, uh, but the name of this mod pack is uh, the Rain Tech Balanced Pack. Uh, we like the idea of a balanced pack. Oh, uh, so on the loading screen there's me over on the right, and then there's Random Creature over on the left, and if you go to the options screen and back, it chooses another random creature. So you can see what all that whoa, what all the random creatures that might show up in this mod pack are. And boy, there are a lot of them. Yeah. What the heck is that? Whoa! So it's called the Rain Tech Balance Pack, and one of the things we like about the pack is that it uh, it on purpose uh, balances uh, magic and technology. Um, so there's stuff that I'd be interested in and stuff that Sarah would be interested in. Uh, there are packs that do this as well that are just gigantic and take forever to load, uh, but most of the small packs tend to concentrate on one or the other. This one seems to pick the best of both. So I'm going to start a new single-player world. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little practicing here. I didn't want to bore you with uh, me learning about the thing. Um, so I'm going to try a new one. <clears throat> Recording world. Create new world. So that's not good. It seems we have spawned near to a percent s eldritch construct, which has a lot of health. Um, hmm. I don't like that. I don't know if it's showing up on the minimap or not. So, uh. Well, I guess I better just get going and get started here, because... Oh, okay. <laughs> guess I better just get going and get started here. Don't want to run afoul of the Eldritch Construct. Okay, good. The Percentus Eldritch Construct seems to have died a slow, unnatural death of being a bug. <laughs> So one thing uh, I learned about this mod pack right away is that the overworld is quite dangerous outside, not just at night, but even during the day. And hanging around outside for any length of time is not recommended. Uh, so I'm just going to punch some trees, get some wood, and then I'm going to immediately go underground. Uh, I'm going to be underground for quite a while, so I want to make sure I have plenty of wood. So I'm going to make myself an axe, and a wooden pickaxe, and just... Uh, chop until the axe is dead. Okay. So while I'm chopping, I'll tell you some of the other things I've learned about this mod pack. Um, it has the Twilight Forest in it, and at least one of the uh, worlds that I've played in was bugged. Uh, such that um, the portal that you create in this world dumps you out at the origin in the Twilight Forest. And I don't know that there's much can be done about that except go to the origin before you make the portal here. Um, because then when I came back from the Twilight Forest, uh, it dumped me at the origin in this world, which as you can see from the coordinates there is not where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> but you can see, even during the day, some dangerous stuff can spawn. I believe that uh, the dark faces on the map indicate that the creature is either where it's not lit or a ways away from me, uh, vertically. So I don't have to worry about these uh, weird guys with the pointy hats, who I think are various elemental mages, coming and getting me. Although they do teleport around, but they tend to teleport on the same layer rather than uh, going up and down. Okay, so I've got some dark oak saplings, that's good. I should probably try and get some regular oak saplings before I go underground, but I want my entrance to the underground to be quite close to here, uh, because this is the spawn of the overworld, 
And uh, if I die before I get to bed, or if my bed gets destroyed by a creeper and I blow up or something like that, then I want to be sure that I can quite easily find my way back to the tunnel leading to the origin where I'm going to build my base. Now the last world that I tried doing this in, the origin turned out to be in the middle of the ocean. Um, so I'm prepared for that possibility, but uh, I'm certainly hoping it doesn't happen again. Okay, we've got some oak saplings, so we'll be able to grow oaks at our new base, even if there aren't oaks around. I think dark oaks will also give you uh, apples, just not as often. So uh, here we have jars, which you right-click on to pick up with an empty hand, and right-click again to break, and they sometimes have cool stuff in them. So it's worth checking out any jars you run into to see if you get any cool stuff. I didn't get any cool stuff that time. Uh, we're also going to need some flowers. And it would be nice if we had some seeds to grow stuff with, so I'm going to break a bunch of grass and at least get a few seeds. I thought I saw some blue flowers over here, but maybe it was just the water. The thing we might need a little of is sand, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some sand. So I'm going to make a tunnel to the origin. Uh, this serves the dual purpose of making it easy to get to the origin from here, and uh, safely, and also means that I can mine a little bit as I'm going and collect some basic resources, basic uh, mining resources, without having to big, build a big open pit mine. The problem with open pit mines in this one is that there are keys, which are hostile bats, and they don't spawn in block high spaces, they just spawn in large volumes of air as far as I can tell. Uh-oh, there's a yellow mage over this away. So that's bad. No flowers? Any flowers up here? Flowers? There's a flower. Oh, and some more flowers. Good. Okay. We're good for flowers. I'll just break these. Poppies here. And then we'll have enough for our portal to the Twilight Forest, which is one of the uh, more attractive mods in this mod pack, at least to me. Uh, it's one that I haven't really played much of before, but it looks a lot of fun from what I've seen of other people's videos. And I think that Sarah would like it because of all the uh, extra flora and fauna that it adds, but it's only in its dimension. Um, but frankly, the Twilight Forest is a whole lot safer than the overworld in this mod pack, so that's why we're going there. Did we get enough? Seven. Uh, we're going to need a few more. I saw some other colored flowers over here, why don't I pick them too? go. Okay. Now we want to, we don't have very much food, so we want to avoid jumping up and down too much. So we're just going to build our entrance to the mine right into this hill over here. For now, we're just going to block it up, though later we'll probably open it up and put a door in here. And as soon as we've got enough uh, cobblestone, yeah, we've got enough, for some cobblestone pickaxes and a furnace, we should make those. Okay, there we go, crafting table, let's make ourselves a furnace, there we are. There's our furnace. Now let's go ahead and start uh, making some charcoal. There we go. And it also lights things up. Okay, we've got one charcoal, so we can make some torches. There we are. We can also make 
stone pickaxe because we'll need that soon enough. Good. And I can put a torch here, another torch up there. Now this may be all the charcoal that we need. Because we'll find coal soon enough. And it's a good idea to save this wood. Alright, let's continue on down. Grab these guys. We're going to need them later. We may come back and make this a uh, better staircase later as well. Though we do intend to use this only one direction, it may turn out that we have to use both directions. Okay. Hey, I'm going the right direction. I forgot to check that earlier. Okay, we found tin, which is one of the things you'll be looking for at the beginning in this mod pack. If we can also find some uh, copper from the same mod pack, I believe they're both from forestry, which is in this mod pack. Find them from the same mod that we can combine them to make a, a pickaxe that's like an iron pickaxe, but mine's much slower. And uh, if that's all we find before we find iron, then oops, I've gone farther than I thought. I think 37 is still high enough to us. Uh, find iron, so I guess I'm just going to mine at 37, then I was going to do it at 45, and then I forgot. We'll find out if 37 is too low. Actually, it looks like we're at 36. Oh, we're still finding coal, so it's not too low for coal. That's good. Not sure if anything's too low for coal. Uh, sorry, now that we're on, on the level, on a level anyway, we'll set up our furnace and crafting table again. So we can come back here without using up too much hunger and start cooking some stones so that we can uh, repair the holes that we make in this tunnel such they look nice. There's plenty of coal. It's not like we're going to use all our coal for this. Okay, now that's something we can't dig with this pickaxe. So we'll have to come back to it once we've found some forestry copper or some iron. we'll find one or the other soon. That unfortunately is Galacticraft copper. Um, Wyla is not installed, what am I looking at? That mod is not in this mod pack and I'm, I don't know, it adds to the mystery but sometimes uh, I kind of wish that for the learning of the thing quickly I had known what some of these ores were without having to figure out what to dig them with. I believe these are Galacticraft aluminum, which we don't need yet. <coughs> now we're planning to go to the moon in the uh, in the in the no jetpack series. Didn't say no rockets, um, but let's get some uh, torches going here. Uh, but this version of Galactic Craft is more recent. I mean, this is a 1.7 mod pack, which is what we were looking for. Uh, this version of Galactic Craft is more recent and has more planets in it. Uh, I'm not sure what those planets are, or if they're gas giants, how the heck you survive on a gas giant. Um, I'm looking forward to finding out if we end up playing this mod pack. If we made our own mod pack, I don't know that we'd have Galactic Craft in it. You know, it kind of depends. since we have played with it so recently. We're going to need all these pickaxes. So here we go with them. Uh, 
I know that there's more coal to mine up there, but I have to be very sensitive to anything that makes me jump up and down. Um, I'm even thinking I might put down some planks around that, uh, that little hump that I was unable to mine back there uh, because I, I don't have an awful lot of uh, food. I'm not going to have a lot of food until I'm done with this whole mining thing, so. Okay. Do we use it all? And it looks like we used all the stone, so we got to go back and get some more stone. We've got some limestone that we can use to fill in. Because it looks the same. what these red things are that I'm heading towards here. So there's some kind of monster, and what's more, the map is showing them basically on my level. That's kind of uh, scary. I don't know that I've ever run into them before. Aha! There we go! That's worth jumping for. So to take care of this, I'm just going to build another furnace. No reason not to. Okay, so we've got three copper ore, which is exactly what we need. And we need one tin ore. There we go. So now we put these in a crafting bench, like so, and we get a bronze ingot. Get four of them, in fact, and we need three of them to make a survivalist's pickaxe, which is precisely what we need to mine these, especially if we don't have any iron yet. So, we've run into one of the features of this mod pack, which is um, unbreakable dungeons. Uh, sometimes they randomly generate in such a way that you can get into them, uh, but usually they are just completely impossible to enter. I'm guessing maybe with an ender pearl you could get inside, but uh, it makes this weird kind of, your pickaxe is broken noise when you start trying to mine, and then doesn't mine. I'm guessing it might be quicker to go around this way. I'm guessing you might also need an ender pearl to get back out again. Actually, there's no reason we need to dodge back the other direction, is there? We're not on the origin line. Last time I ran into one of these, I was actually at zero. I was like, but I want to be at zero. It doesn't matter here. There's nothing special about 119. Aha! We found some iron. Excellent. Go ahead and mine all the iron that I can easily get at. There we go. Oh, even more. The veins of iron are nice and big. Uh, they're just not very many of them. It's relatively rare, and there are a lot of things that it's very useful for.
In fact, now that we've found some iron, I'm going to start uh, digging downwards again. Well, maybe not. Looks like I've run into another one of those dungeons right below me. So as soon as I can, I will dig down. too far let's go get our furnace and crafting table take them with us down to the next level um, because what we really want is diamond we need a certain amount of iron but we definitely need diamond so we're gonna head down and start looking for it lava level in this mod pack is 12 I don't know what determines that some it's 11 some it's 10 this one is 12. Oh good, some gravel. That way we can maybe pick up some flint. Or I guess if we're willing to just break it and repeatedly, then we can, uh, we can definitely get some flint. Looks like we just broke into a little little pool area here. Not sure we have enough uh, stuff to close it off, so I'm just going to light it up. Hope no keys spawn down here. If it's small enough, I don't think an awful lot will spawn in it. be 12 when I go down there. Yep. And unfortunately it looks like there's also some uh, iron down here, so that's good. Oh, so Thaumcraft is also in this pack, as you can tell from the fact that I'm picking up shards. Gonna be breaking through into the lobby area pretty soon here. I'm not seeing it yet. Weird. Nope, looks like my inventory is full. Now let's do something about that. Go ahead and place these guys back down. And in here. Stack of cobblestone there. Another one there. Randomly, we have two sticks, so let's make one more pickaxe. There we go. Hmm. Could probably even make another furnace. Got enough cobblestone for sure. some room in inventory and some uh, stone to fill stuff in with. Oh, actually there was one more thing I wanted to do. That's what I was saving those sticks for and I forgot about it. Oh well. Got one stone here. Oh well. Okay, so we use the stone to make stone rods, which we then use, sorry, first I have to make sticks. 
There we go, with these two sticks, and these three stone rods, and this flint, we make ourselves a stone saw. And with this we can start making steps. Let's go ahead and turn these into torches. There we go. Should be enough to make all the stairs we need. Oh, that's right. Ah. Oh. oh, horrible. Horrible, horrible. I went down too soon.